What the hell is up? Welcome back to Josh's Quarter Corner. We're going to talk about some music today. Back in 2020, one of my absolute favorite bands released an album. The album was called Lament. And not long ago, they released the B-sides of this album. Uh, they did three pressings. They did, I'm cheating here, a tour-only pressing, a band camp pressing, and then one through their web store. I am not usually someone who tries to grab every variant that comes out. I like to grab one and be happy about it. But in this case, I had the opportunity to get the tour pressing and the band camp pressing. Very happy about that. So, details. Uh, the exclusive tour pressing was neon pink and gold and bone swirl vinyl, limited to 500, only 18 sold a night. They played a show at the Grog Shop in Cleveland. It was like a one-off show from their tour with Thrice. And I timed it poorly. I thought doors opened later than they did, and I was running late. So I hit up my friend Jordan, who uh, was uh, one of the attendees of Furnace Fest, and I met through, through Furnace Fest activities. I hit him up, and he was going. I was like, dude, can you please, please, please grab this vinyl for me? And he did. Luckily, because when I, by the time I got there, I was not going to be able to grab it. So, there's the cover. Lament Demos. Pow. It's looking orange through the camera, but it's nice and pink with that bone white inlay. So I was very, very, very excited to snag this. Um... I don't normally have luck in getting stuff like this, and like I said, I scheduled everything poorly and I was not going to get there in time to grab it. So again, thanks to Jordan for making that happen. But today, we got the Bandcamp version. So, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. The Bandcamp version was a different looking pressing. Uh, exclusive on gold nugget vinyl and digital stream available that Friday that it dropped. This was limited to 200. Now I forgot what the mock-up looked like for it so I didn't even know to expect a gold nugget but uh it'll be like seeing it for the first time once we get it out of this amazing packaging. I don't know who, if, if they package their vinyl themselves, but I know that the vocalist for Touche More is uh, big on vinyl. So you can pretty much always guarantee that if you order vinyl from Touche More, it's going to ship in very, very good condition. So we're going to pop this open here. Get rid of that. Some cardboard sleeves here. Bandcamp exclusive gold nugget vinyl. It is the same packaging as our tour edition. Uh, this was, again, it's the demos for their uh, 2020 Lament album. So come Heroin, Lament, Fain, Reminders, Exit Row, A Forecast. The one song on here that did not make the album was Persist, and it is a solid, solid song. I was able to listen to the live press, or not the live pressing, I'm sorry, but the tour edition and hear just how good everything is. I mean, demos, I'm not usually big on hearing, but I was curious to hear the evolution of this album from demo to live. All right, let's see what this gold nugget looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. So it just has that gold coloring to it. The center, the way that the gold looks, has almost waves. Um, so it almost gives it like a 3D look to it. You can kind of see that there. I don't know if turning this on is going to help at all, but we'll try it. Yeah, look at that. So it definitely looks sick. I'm very excited about this. Um, as you see, I do not keep them wrapped up. If I buy a vinyl, I want to enjoy it, so I will take it out of the sleeve. I've also heard, and I think said this in past videos, that leaving the plastic on the vinyl is not good for it because that shrink wrap can tighten over time and it restricts and pulls on the packaging and can hurt the vinyl. So, Touche Amore, 
two different versions of the Lament demos. So stoked to have these. They will not ever be for sale unless I die and someone has to take care of my estate. Thanks for stopping by. If you haven't heard Touche Amore, check them out. They are one of the best live bands I've ever seen. I absolutely love all of their releases. Parting the Sea Between Brightness and Me, that album, just start it, lay back, and listen to it from front to back. It is an amazing album, uh, and all of their work is. Uh, stage four is an emotional journey. Like Just take the time to listen to that album and really hear what the singer is saying. It's, it's insane, the amount of emotion he puts into the music. So check them out. Thanks for stopping by. Should have a new video here in the next few days. I don't know. We'll see. But I miss you, and I like keeping in touch. So see you soon.